And we are back, continuing our discussion of spiritual disciplines. So what we're going to talk about today is meditation. So first, I want to talk about what is Christian meditation? Well, it is not like worldly meditation. See, Buddhism and some other meditations, their goal is to empty their mind. And they really want to become nothing. Nirvana. They want to reach this state of nothingness. Well, that is the complete opposite of Christian meditation. What Christian meditation is, is where we are actually filling our mind and our thoughts and our heart with the things of God. So almost the complete opposite of worldly meditation. Now, we could go over numerous passages talking in New Testament and Old Testament about how we should meditate on God's word day and night. Um, even Paul, writing to Timothy, says that we should think about these things. That word think is the same thing as meditation. So because of the negative connotation that the word meditation has in our culture, uh, or because of the different definition the world uses for meditation, I like to just think about meditation as a substitute for the word think. So, as we talk about Christian meditation, we're going to talk about Christian thinking about God's Word. Now, one thing I want you to know is that when we're going to meditate on Scripture, we need to read big and meditate or think small. Meaning, as I sit down in my Bible reading plan and I go through with my pen or highlighter, I'm going to highlight or underline any text that stands out. It can be one verse, it can be a few words, it can be one word. But I'm going to highlight those things that stand out to me. Now, when I'm done with my reading, maybe that's one chapter, three chapters, five chapters, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go back through my highlights, and I'm going to find a verse or part of Scripture that stood out to me. And it's going to be that that I use to meditate on. So, what are some examples of meditation? Let's talk about it. Um, we're going to emphasize different words in a text. So, for example, let's say you're reading the Gospel of John, and you are in chapter 14. And as you're reading, you highlight verse 6. Well, that's amazing. John 14, 6 says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. One of the ways to meditate on this is to emphasize each word in turn. So this is how it would look like. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Cool. Well, who's the I? We're going to pause. We're going to stop. And we're going to think about who is the I. Well, that's Jesus. Okay. Well, that's easy. Well, but it's not me. It's not a pastor. It's not a deacon. It's not a church council member, an elder. It's not Buddha. It's not Muhammad. It's not Joseph Smith. It's Jesus, right? And he says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Well, okay, am. Well, that's present tense. He is now. Not he was or he might be or he may be, but he is right now the way, the truth, and the life. And then let's just do this one more word. I am the way and the truth and life. So the, the one and only. No other way to Christ or to God other than through Christ. So again, not any other God. Buddha, Muhammad, Joseph Smith, Michael the Archangel, but Jesus and Jesus alone. Now because we are able to pause and stop and think about what that verse says, we can get a lot more out of it just in a little bit of time. Christian meditation does not have to take a long time, but it will be very, very beneficial as you go throughout the rest of your day and continue to think about God's Word.